Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Now you may be wondering why did I start off the video showing me making tea. Well, let me explain that. Because today, like as the topic says, we're going to be painting with tea. Now I'm not wasting the tea, don't worry. I'm drinking it. I'm just using the excess tea after I drink it from the tea bag to do this work so let's drink some now all right so without further ado we got to start and um sketch out what we are gonna draw on this thing so basically we're sketching out thumbnails let's do this all right so here is the it's time for brainstorming so i'll be brainstorming whatever comes into my mind first and pretty much this is a thumbnail sketching part where i will sketch out pretty much all the thumbnails i could possibly think of and also what i would do for my tea painting so i got a lot of ideas like tea makes you energized because it has caffeine like coffee and so I was thinking of battery, battery which is full of energy and then I also I also got brainstormed in with like people sipping tea, you know those fancy people sipping tea, you get what I'm saying? And then some little kids which are just playing around, grouping around, young ones, just energized, really 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 energized, happy little kids. And this is just me brainstorming and stuff like that and I was thinking about oh tea bags and stuff like that it's a lot of ideas alright so at this point I feel like I've filled up the page quite substantially to gather some ideas here and there and I think I've settled on an idea and I'm pretty proud of it so let's actually move on Alright, so the next thing to do is actually test the tea and I've actually coloured out my favourite ones that might be used in the ideas. So, right now this is me testing out the tea and I'm just laying it down just simply out with a brush. And I'm actually kind of excited to see and wait until it dries and see how it looks like so I, know I get the idea of the pigments. Alright, so now it's actually time to draw out the character and I actually chose one of the little kids there to be in the character that I'm using to be painting with tea. So I just sketched, just quickly, just roughly sketched out how the character wants. I modified the character a little bit, made it a full body stand and, oh, and just made him look like he was waving, you know, simple stuff. And then we go on to outlining this thing, which I'm pretty proud that it's actually getting, just fitting all together real nicely. Alright, so it's pigment liner time. So I went to my go-to pigment liner, nothing too special, using a 0 0.7 I think. And just pretty much outlining this little kid and just polishing up the sketches and pretty much making it look nicer, cleaner and overall just make it neater before we paint. Alright, so now it's time to actually tea paint this thing. So I'm going to start with the ground first and pretty much just start stamping out the ground to make it look more natural and using the brush itself to even out the spots and just make it dry better. At this point, I just felt like we should just stamp out the whole character because we're going to color the whole character in anyway. And so this is me just adding the base color everywhere and just pretty much blending it out with the background behind it. So now is the part which actually gets tricky. To separate the darkness and the lightness of the brown among the rest of the character. Like for example the pants. And the pants just needed tons and tons and tons of layering to pretty much differentiate the dark and the light. And as you can see, 
it's a lot of work since the tea pigment is very diluted and it's very light. Alright, so now after I'm satisfied with the pants, I needed to add more tone to the hair since the hair it also has to be darker than the skin itself to show that it's the skin difference color and I'll just give the shirt just a little pop of color. Alright, so this is layer 2, just add a little bit more on the pants and on the hair. Now to blow dry. Okay, so quick update. I added some shading, some light shading as you can see on the pants which is turning out really 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 good. It's gonna apply more coats on the shading of the shirt and well, I'll see you guys in a bit because I don't want to bore you guys with adding coats and blow drying and adding coats and blow drying it, yeah. Alright, so now um, if you think the color is weird because I color corrected it so that it won't look as dark as the real footage of video. So now I'm finished, as you can see, and I'm adding the um, final touches and I'm only gonna allow myself a ballpoint pen and pick my marker. Apart from that, I'm using tea, 100%. And I'm just using this to do the background and pretty much give it that um, unevenness, authentic effect. And we're just gonna outline the character with this um, orange ballpoint pen just to give it that pop of color and I think I am done and I think all I need to do now is like sign it so yeah all right here you go I'm done and the build up is close that means I'm gonna show you the final product and here is the final product, I added shading, I tried my best to add shading and overlay it as much as possible, that's my signature and I'm pretty proud of my work and I think it's great so without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to leave a like and subscribe